this Ross engine has a geared reduction drive and a dry clutch. Okay, the clutch means that the propeller is not spinning when the engine is on idle. As the engine spins faster, two shoes open out and then it engages the, uh, the housing inside and hence drives the propeller. It should not have any oil residue there though, because it is a dry clutch. Um, it doesn't need any lubrication, but it, it's got some seepage here somewhere. So we're going to have to take the reduction drive off and have a look inside and see where this oil is coming from. Just make sure when you're taking the last bolt out, the reduction drive doesn't fall off. Just needs a little tap or a bigger tap. Voila! Here is the clutch, the dry clutch. Okay, we can see these are the two shoes that open out with centrifugal force. Okay, as the motor spins faster, these open up more and they grab on the inside of the bell housing, causing this to spin and hence the propeller as well. And you can see here, I'm twisting this clockwise and this is going the opposite direction. Okay, because it's a geared reduction drive. It spins the propeller in the opposite direction to the rotation of the engine. But there's a seal behind here and the seal's probably gone a little bit bad and we can see that there's some oil residue around here, so we're going to need to replace the seal. Brake cleaner, not WD-40.